Hello guys, this is Blaze, this is another Minecraft video, and today we have a wonderful seed review. But, uh, this seed review is only for you guys who want to do a survival island, as you can tell by the title. So, this is a very good survival island, uh, I was about to start up a new world, I typed in a random seed, and I got a very good survival island seed that would be, uh, good for people who want to do survival islands. So the screen, so the seed, it's on your screen right now, and I'll just read it to you. So it's negative eight nine one two four six seven two one. So it's a very good seed, actually. So I'm gonna show you what the map looks like, and then I'm gonna start a new world and show you the the land features. Okay, guys. So we are on the world. And you will spawn somewhere around here. It won't be raining and snowing, but uh, that's just what it is right now because I already got some things for survival. And, um, well, you can see off right off the bat, we got some sugar cane. And over around here, right over there, is some sand. So you can get sand, sugar cane, and you got a sugar cane farm already. So again, you'll spawn on this island. And this is what the entire map looks like, by the way. It's a very good map. As you can see, there's two, um, rather large ice biomes at the top and like one two three four five six um or seven depending on how you count them islands at the bottom so we're gonna explore each and every island and see which one has what, gosh i can't talk okay for so for the island you spawn in you will obviously see sugarcane sand so you can grow your sugarcane in lots of hills you will also see trees, so you can obviously start your house and build boats to get to, uh, to other islands. The second ice biome has also, also has oh gosh, the second ice biome also has trees. It has most of the features that the other ice biome has, but it also has this huge hill that I think looks very cool because of this big overhang here. And you can also see that well, it's pretty much huge. Another very good thing about this seed is that most of the islands on here are actually mushroom biomes. And you can see there's many uh, mushrooms as well as that island over there. And I think this island is very good. It gives you that stranded feeling of it just like, it's like a volcano-ish type feature. So pretty much all the mushroom biomes are the same. This is the biggest one. So I just wanted to show you this one in particular. Let's go on to the next biome. Okay, as you can see, there's this little thing here. Not too much, just a little bit of dirt and sand. But it's a good place, like a station, if you get that far. Like, it's a station that you can transport um, your stuff between islands. Or you could uh, get some friends on here and start at different islands. And this could be uh, something, I guess. And over here is another one of those things. It's not a mushroom biome. But it's a pretty good island, as you can see monsters do spawn on it, and there is a cave here. But the cave, it doesn't go that quite deep, I don't think anyway. Yeah, it doesn't go that quite deep, uh, but it's a pretty cool cave, I like the way it's sort of like this. There's something about it I like, and there's trees on here, so if your friends want to come on, they can start on this island, and you will you have trees. Also, as you can see, there's iron here, so, you know, iron, it's, it's good. Okay, guys, this is the last biome on here. This is another mushroom biome. As you can see, I like how these two mushrooms come together, they like, to block you from the rain. Of course, it does come through here a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So anyway, guys, this has been a really good seed. I really love it. I'm going to play a new series on it, Survival Island. Um, possibly with some friends, and we're gonna enjoy this world, okay? Goodbye.